Hey, what's up, YouTube? Thanks for tuning in to Discovering MTG, man. As you guys can already see, I've got a whole slew of exclusives right now um, at Target, <laughs> at your local Target, man, not your LGS. Uh, so as you know, we got Jumpstart over here, times eight blister packs uh, for $5.19 a piece plus tax. And then uh, over here, we got Double Masters. And these are fetching $124.99 plus tax at your local Target or Walmarts, wherever have yous. And le let me tell you before you end up uh, thinking that you can go ahead and you know reseal these and then go and get your money back. Because man, I'm telling you, I got a buddy that works at Target and he says, dude, you cannot return trading card game products because they're sold by a third party vendor. And um, so go ahead and make sure that you're checking with your local Target about your return refund policy uh, before you go ahead and think twice um, and then end up being in a bind for uh, maybe a grand or something because I spent almost a grand here today at my local Target. Um, they had a lot more jumpstart, but but we're, we're trying to get that uh, Allosaurus Shepherd and I didn't want to, uh, you know, risk it for the biscuit because I want to hit high end over here, man trying to get me a force of will and you might be thinking right now okay how come these don't have the cellophane wrap um, that's because earlier you know I was just gonna rip them out just to make it easier for you so what I'm gonna do here in this case is we're gonna pick evens and odds and we're gonna roll a dice okay so we're gonna roll a dice and we're just gonna see this is evens this is odds today we're gonna open this on the channel if it ends up evens or we're gonna open this on the channel if it ends up odds. So let's move this to the side. And then as far as that cellophane wrap, like I was saying, um, man, you know, I, I picked these up and then, uh, you know, my, my phone was having all sorts of issues. I don't know what happened to the video. It probably wasn't even recording um, after I pressed record and I, I realized, so I had to, this is my second attempt on this video. You guys know my, my stuff's not scripted. So, um, you know, we, we just gotta go from here, okay? So we got these uh, VIP edition booster boxes. And um, let, let's get at it. So I got my box of die. Um, if you guys have seen my other videos uh, that I've uploaded previously, you guys know how we do. We got my box of die, and then uh, we'll just go ahead and pick out this fat one from M21. You can get those those oversized spin down dies from your um, what do you call it? Your fat packs or your your bundle boxes that are coming out nowadays. So let's let's uh I don't know, man. Let, let's see what we're gonna get. Evens or odds. All right, so we got odds. It looks like we're opening up seven, oh, can I even count? Seven VIP Double Masters booster packs today on the channel. So let's get rid of these jump starts. Let, let's clear the table. And you know what? I'm just gonna snap my fingers um, here in a second and then uh, just rip these all out so I can save some time. I've already told you enough about the backstory on where I got these. So let's go ahead and let's just snap our fingers and make magic. All right, and we're back. Look at that magic just happened, man. And I kept them in specific order, just like how we did right before I snapped my fingers. So let's go ahead and clear up the table. We'll move this garbage out of the way. And we've got these decks right here. Let's go ahead and go like this, man. Push that to the side and clear some room. All right, so first off, we got this first pack right here of the VIP. Double Masters VIP Edition pack, man. Right here, we got a mirror on the back right there. Corridor monitor, let's get right to it. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna simply lay it out. Commons, uncommons, rare, mythic, and tokens, lands. Just to keep it simple. Yeah, not trying to make it complicated. I know you guys are just in and out trying to see the goods. So uh, let's go through the commons real quick. Hers is power plant, not too bad. Foil right there, bone picker, peace strider. Oh, nice. We got a pongify. So for our first uncommon, we got a pongify, weapons trainer, crop rotation, opal chase. We got a flicker wisp, galvanic blast, chief of the foundry, gore clan rampager. Nice! And for our rare slot, we got a Toxic Deluge. Right there. Can we focus? Two colorless, one black sorcery. As an additional cost to this, cast this spell. Pay X life. All creatures get Neg, neg X until end of turn. 
highly played. Oh, Stoneforge Mystic. All right, we'll take it. One colorless, one white creature core artificer, one two body, one Stoneforge Mystic ETBs. You may search your library for an equipment card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. One colorless, one white, tap it. You may put an equipment card from your hand onto the battlefield. Hell yeah. Oh, all right, all right, all right. So there's our rares. There's our rares, and then we're coming with our borderless foil treatment. Lightning Greaves, two colors, artifact equipment, and Crypt Creature has haste and shroud, and you can equip it for zero. And for our second rare mythic slot, we got 347. It's a rare. Boom. We got a goblin guide. All right, so for one red, we got Creature Goblin Scout, 2-2, two, two, haste. Whenever a goblin guide attacks, defending player reveals the top card of their library. If it's a land card, that player puts it into their hand. Nice. Not too bad for our first pack. All right, so we got some John Avon and uh, some Noah Bradley lands right here in non-foil. Oh, awesome. And then already seeing ahead, we got our foil John Avon Island. Yes, that's super cool, guys. All right, I'm glad to actually get those. I'm trying to get a, um, all five of the John Avon lands and all five of the Noah Bradley lands. He, you know, regardless of whatever he's done, he's still a good artist. And I'm trying to get all five of each, John Avon and Noah Bradley. You know, just to, just because, you know, I'm a completionist. It, it's about Magic the Gathering. It's not about the person, you know, who's created the art. Um, you know, there, there's uh, lots of controversial art out there. And, um, you know, that's what art is. If art doesn't, you know, um, open up, you know, whatever your opinions and uh, thoughts that you might have towards a certain art that, um, to actually make a difference. So uh, when it does strike an impact to make a difference, uh, you know, I, I, I feel stronger towards that art because, uh, you know, more, more, the more the hype, the, you know, the more it's tight. So uh, here we go. We got our next pack here. We got a crib swap and a servo token. Um, let's see what we're going to get here. Hopefully we can get a mythic. Um, we didn't get a mythic and, and to be honest with you, what my goal is from these seven VIP packs is I want to get a force of will. That's, you know, that's my chase card. That's what I want. Um, I know I spent a shit ton of money on this stuff and, uh, hopefully I can recoup some of that back. Uh, crib swap, lightning axe, a Gibeon restoration, sanctum gargoyle, a mirror retriever, costly plunder, a clear shot, accomplished automaton. Metal Spinner Puzzle Knot. All right, there goes our commons right there. We got an Is It Charm, a Gelatinous Genesis, a Sphinx of the Guild Pack, oops, a Painsmith, Goldolta Flame Fiend, Enlarge, Pentad Prism, Higher Wild Shaman, and I think this might be our first rare. Yep, there it is. Uh, looks like we got a Phyrexian Revoker. Uh, two colorless, artifact creature, horror, two one body. As Phyrexian Revoker ETBs, choose an all-land card name. Activate abilities of the source with the chosen name can't be activated. An Endless Atlas for two colorless, two colorless, tap it. It's an artifact. Draw a card. Activate this ability only if you control three or more lands with the same name to draw a card. All right. And for our first rare mythic slot, we got a Urza's Mind. Nice. All right. So we got a land Urza's Mind. Um, surprisingly, these are worth like 40 bucks, dude. Like for uncommon that upshifted in rarity uh, to rare slot uh you can tap it to add a diamond colorless mana if you control an urza's power plant and an urza's tower add two colorless diamond mana instead so you know this is great for those tron builds um those uh those big mana creature uh edh builds like um you know Ulamog, uh, emrakul you know who's the other guy kozilek you know so that's a must if you're building tron uh urza's mine Oh, what? We got a Sword of Feast and Famine. Heck yes, guys. All right, so Sword of Feast and Famine. Let's get this wrapper out of here. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just put these here. 
uh, these tokens here to make space. Sword of Feast and Famine, three colorless artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets plus two plus two and has protection from black and from green. Whenever the equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card and you untap all lands you control and you can equip it for two colorless. Yes, that is one of the higher tiers. I think it's in the top six of uh, mythic borderless foil treatment cards that you can uh, potentially get in these VIP packs. Um, yeah, I'm super stoked to have this. It's not a force of will, but you know, I, I will still take it. Sword of Feast and Famine. Thank you very much. All right, so uh, moving on to our lands. Noah Bradley, John Avon, five of each. And then looks like we got a foil John Avon Forest and a Noah Bradley Mountain. Yes. Ooh, nice, an Elf Warrior. I think that's the first time we pulled one of those. Elf Warrior token. And on the back side, we got a Golem with a Cat token. Nice, I think that was the first time we pulled one of those too. And a Servo. Heck yes, that's pretty cool. All right, so continuing with the top row that we had, uh, we're gonna go with this. We got Kazul's Toll Collector and a Squirrel token on the back. All right. Man, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I heard this VIP stuff is a one and done thing. There's no reprint from this because of the, the current pandemic. So, um, you know, if you guys see your VIP packs out there at your local LGS or your Target, make sure you go ahead and pick them up while you can, because once they're gone, they're gone, man. Kazul's Toll Collector, uh, Relic Runner, Crusader of Ordric, a Braid. Wow, did that downshift? I think that was an uncommon. That was an uncommon in Hour of Devastation, I think, or uh, Amonkhet, one of those. Uh, Glaze Fiend, Shatter of the Squirrel, a Mirror Retriever, a Driver of the Dead, Everflowing Chalice, Treasure Mage is our first uncommon. Ooh, nice! We got a Fatal Push Foil. Heck yes! Fencing Ace. Fatal Push, you know, isn't as uh, expensive as it used to be, but, um, I'm glad to have it. Fencing Ace, a Bloodshot Trainee, Glass Dust Hulk, a Dread Return, a Death Reap Vitral, Clone Shell. Ooh, all right. For our first rare, we got a Liege of the Triangle. Six colors, two green creature elemental, eight, eight body with trample. Whenever Liege of the Tangle deals combat damage to a player, you may choose any number of target lands you control and put any an awakening counter on each of them. Each of those lands is an 8-8 eight, eight green elemental creature for as long as it has an awakening counter on it. They're still lands. Wow, that, that's super stompy green. Council's Judgment, one colorless, two white sorcery will of the council starts with you. Each player votes for a non-land permanent you don't control. Exile each permanent with the most votes or tied for most votes. All right. Oh, look at that. Dude, we got a Blood Moon. That is super cool looking. Look at that art. Hell yeah. Two colors, one red enchantment. Non-basic lands are mountains. Simple. Oh, nice. And we got another mythic. A sneak attack. Three colors, one red enchantment. You can pay one red. You may put a creature card from your hand on the battlefield. That creature gains haste. Sacrifice that creature at the beginning of the next end step. And you know, if you're playing big creatures in your hand for one red, you're just coming in, swinging, dealing that damage and whatever attack triggers, hits for your opponent, dude, they're done, man. They, I mean, if they can come back from whatever, you know, if you're throwing sneak attack in there, dude, you've already got an advantage. All right. So just this, for video sake, oh, this cards are sticking there. Okay, so we got another uh, mythic. Just for video's sake, we're just gonna go through uh, John Avon, non-foil lands. We got a foil forest. Ooh, nice. Two John Avon and a foil swamp. And then uh, Eldrazi spawn with a germ token, soldier token with that squirrel token. Hell yes. And then we're moving to that bottom tier of, not the bottom tier, but that bottom row of those bit packs I had from the get-go. Uh, you know, just to keep in order so it's categorically correct. Um, Lightning Axe, Argivian Restoration. For you guys out there, you know, who are actually taking tallies on uh, whatever, you know, I get in my packs, um, you know, just for your sake. Uh, Accomplished Automaton, Supernatural Stamina, Everflowing Chalice, 
All right, so we're moving into our uncommons. Hopefully we get like a uh, Manamorphos or a Gelatinous Gen, let's see, Painsmith. Uh, what, what's that, Obliette, uh, Codolta Finkin, Enlarge, Pentaprisma. Oh, okay, all right. So this downshifted from Mythic, um, from, uh, uh, what's that, Gate Crash, Voice of Resurgence uh, for um, Selesnia color there, creature. Elemental, 2-2 body, whenever an opponent casts a spell during your turn, or when Voice of Resurgence dies, create a green and white elemental creature token with this creature's power and toughness is each equal to the number of creatures you control. Heartbeat of spring. And man, I don't know if you guys saw that, but dude, I have my hopes up. Two colorless, one green enchantment. Let's get through this. Whenever a player taps a land for mana, that player adds one mana of any type that land produced. And dude, all right, so it's a rare. All right, nice. We got a Cyclonic Rip. One white, one blue. You guys know what this does. Instant return target now land permanent. You can don't control to its owner's hand. And you can overload this for six colorless and one blue. And, and uh, instead of uh, the target text saying, um, you know, instance of target, you can change it to each. So board white or return all the cards of your opponents to their hands and reset their board. Um, and you get that upper advantage because all your stuff is safe. Uh, Cyclonic Rift, EDH staple, uh, highly played, um, yeah, it, I mean, it, oh my god, I see it already, we got that, Woo! oh my gosh, I'm like shaking here, Force of Will, we got the chase card that we were looking for, thank you so very much, we got three colors, two blue, instant, you may pay one life and exile a blue card from your hand rather than pay this spell's mana cost, and counter target spell. And you know what that flavor text says right there? If you're trying to play something, she's straight up telling you, you're an amateur, bro. Because you don't even know what's coming! <laughs> yes, I might be tapped out, but I might just have that force of will. Borderless foil box topper treatment card in hand. So you better watch out. Dude, this card is fetching anywhere from like five to six hundred bucks right now, which is insane. It's paid for a majority of my VIP packs today just by pulling this one card, uh, Force of Will, right there. I am so happy to have that. Um, we'll go ahead and sleeve that up here in a moment. But uh, going through these John Avon and Noah Bradley lands and non-foil, then we got foil, uh, Noah Bradley mountain, and a John Avon swamp. Shapeshifter on the back, elemental on, or shapeshifter on the front, elemental on the back, clue token front, and worm token on the back. Hell yes. All right, so we're just continuing this. We got a worm again. I'll give him a restoration. All right, we're just getting right into this, guys. We're just gonna move it along. Uh, let's see here. Going through our commons. Nobody cares about the commons right now, so we're just gonna go through that. Uh, there's our commons. Uh, hidden stockpile, invigorate, buried ruin, Sphinx of the Gill Pack. Oh, nice. We got an obliet, obliet right there, and the lightning greaves. Yes. Thank you very much. Yavi Maya's embrace. A Skull Mulcher, Vexing Shusher for our first rare. All right, and a Bosch Iron, oh wait, let's read that Vexing Shusher. Um, it's got hybrid mana of Gruul, uh, red and green. Right there, Goblin, or uh, Creature Goblin Shaman, 2-2 body, this spell can't be countered. Play that uh, hybrid Gruul, uh, either green or red, target spell can't be countered, nice. And then a Bosch Iron Golem for eight colorless legendary artifact creature Golem six seven body with trample three colorless and one red sack and artifact Bosch Iron Golem deals damage equal to the sacrifice artifact creatures or artifact converted mana cost to any target. And for our first um, borderless foil treatment card, uh, we got an expedition map, and I think there might be a Goblin guy behind this. So we got one colorless artifact, two colorless tap it sack expedition map. Search your library for a card land card reveal it and put it into your hand then shuffle your library and this is highly played with tron um it's just a hand in hand goes with tron um you know because you're you're trying you're trying to get those tron lands going um those earth's lands going so you can get uh tron up and running so uh expedition map and <laughs> what the hell what no way force of will again look we just pulled force of will like, this, no way! Okay, I mean, dude, seriously? 
force of will, three colorless, two blue, instant, you may pay one life. Exile a blue card from your hand rather than pay this spell's mana cost. Counter target spell. I have recouped whatever I spent I did just by these two packs alone. That is insane. Look, double force of will. That is crazy, guys. All right, and we got the top. Oh my gosh. I can't even breathe right now. All right. Noah Bradley. Noah Bradley, thank you. Um, John Avon, thank you. Uh, Clue Token. Oh, look. Dude, did I do that? Oh, I gotta be careful when I open these packs up. I guess I'm getting excited. Germ and the ooze. Worm. Uh, those go there. All right, dude, we got two more packs to go. Two more packs, and we've got two Force of Will. Um, a Sneak Attack and a Sword. A Feast and Famine. All right, so let's get right into it, guys. Yeah, thanks for sticking around. If you guys have been stuck around, oh my gosh, I couldn't have asked more. I asked for one force of will. That's I would have been satisfied with just one more force, one force of will because that was the chase card. That's the chase card of this VIP set um, to get it in foil, borderless treatment, um, alternate art, you know. And they're going anywhere from five to six hundred bucks right now. So I'm super stoked that you know I'm just very fortunate that I can afford this uh, product. And end up getting two, two of the cards that I, I was just looking for one, you know. So uh, let's get right into it. Uh, continuing on, you know, we got these commons right here. Cast down. That's that's pretty dope. Urza's power plant. Heck yes. Blood Bear, ever flowing chalice, and that's for our commons. Oval chase, daredevil, sandstone oracle, weapons trainer, Ovenvald, mysteries, galvanic blast, chief of the foundry, gore clan rampager, skull mulcher. Greater, oh, okay, okay, right. so so we're getting into our rares here. We got a greater good, um, two colorless, two green enchantment sack, a creature, draw cards equal to the sacrifice creature's power, then discard three cards. That is a good card. Oh, nice. Highly played uh, um, Orzov uh, in EDH, Merciless Eviction, uh, four colorless and Orzov colors, that which is white and black, sorcery, choose one, exile all artifacts, exile all creatures, exile all enchantments, or exile all planeswalkers. So you got options there, so this is very nice, very nice to play in EDH. Oh, alright, so I kind of spoiled it a little bit. We got another Blood Moon, two colorless, one red enchantment, non-basic lands are mountains. And then of course you guys saw that, which is super dope, dude. Look at that, Atraxa, Praetor's Voice. And it's got, um, what are those colors, man? Um, that's green, white, blue, black. Legendary creature, angel, horror, flying vigilance, death touch, lifelink. At the beginning of your end step, proliferate. And it's a 4-4 body. Um, highly played in EDH. Uh, you know, people build all around just this one legendary creature, angel, horror. Um, attracts a, you know, um, one of the most expensive commander 2016, uh, yeah, 2016 um, decks out there to purchase. So uh, Traxa is our next um, mythic card. We got our John Avon and uh, Noah Bradley. Full art, non-foil lands. Um, and then we got a John Avon Plains with a Noah Bradley Forest. And a Soldier and a Servo Human Soldier and a Golem Token. All right, so last pack right here. All right, so we're just gonna go with this. We got a brainstorm and an elemental token on the back. We're just gonna finish this up, man. Um, thanks guys for tuning in, sticking around. If you haven't already, go ahead and just subscribe. Select that notification bell. Um, leave a comment if you want, like or dislike. You know, uh, tell me, tell me your two sets. If you dislike it. Tell me what I'm doing wrong that you don't like because, you know, like how am I supposed to ever improve and, you know, satisfy, you know, my viewers out there if you don't ever, you know, if you just click thumbs down or is it just that, you know, that's just what you do. Um, but, you know, to each his own, um, you know, uh, thanks for sticking around to this point. If you fast forwarded to this point and didn't see all the rest of the goods, then sorry you missed out. Uh, there's a lot of spicy stuff. As you can see, we got Sword of Peace and Famine, a sneak attack. Two Force of Will, which is, uh, you know, by probability, um, that's insane. Uh, attracts a Predator's Voice, and then we're just moving into the last pack. We got another Urza's Tower. Um, 
have yet to see a Urza's power plant in foil. Uh, Mind of the Masses, Sickle Slicer, Cathodian. Just okay. So we're going into our uncommons: Disciple of the Vault, Veteran Explorer, Sentinel of the Per Trident, Doctor Foundry, Flicker Wisp, Galvanic Blast, um, Gore Clan Rapture. Nice. We got a Basalt Monolith, and I think after this is our uh, rare. We got a Kemba Ka Regent. One colorless, two white, legendary creature, cat, cleric, two for body. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a two-two white cat creature token for each equipment attached to Kemba Ka Regent. So probably something you might want to throw in Tron, um, or Voltron, I mean. Oh, nice! And we got a Mythic, dude. Our first Mythic in uh, regular foil uh, treatment. Riku of Two Reflections. Uh, two colorless and uh, green, blue, and Red. Legendary creature human wizard 2 2 body. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may pay is it colors, which is blue and red. If you do, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. And then, whenever another token creature enter ETBs under your control, you may pay simic colors, which is green and blue. If you do create a token that's a copy of that creature, hell yeah, I'll take it. It's it's not one of the um, more expensive ones, but that that's super cool, um, in my opinion. So I will take that. Thank you very much. And then for our borderless, ooh, we got a crop rotation. It's a uh, one green crop rotation instant as an additional cost to cast a spell, sack a land. And then you can search your library for a land card, put that card on the battlefield, then shuffle your library. So we got a crop rotation. You know, it's not the best of uh, what you want to get in your um, foil treatment borderless alt art uh, slot. But, you know, we'll, we'll take it. You know, I, I got two forcibles, so I recoup my money. Um, everything else after this point is uh, pretty much free. So, um, yeah, uh, like I said, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button right there. Um, leave a comment. Hit that like. And for our last card to finish this off, we got another Mythic card. It's a sneak attack. Three colorless, one red enchantment. You can pay one red. You may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. That creature gains haste. Sack that creature at the beginning of the next end step. Hell yeah. So we got two, four, six, seven out of seven bit packs. So um, I, I really don't see the loss there. There's our John Avon, Noah Bradley, non-foil, full art lands. And then we got a John Avon Mountain and a Noah Bradley Swamp with the ooze and a worm with dead touch and a shapeshifter and then a elemental uh, for those tokens right there. Um, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out some of my previous content that I've uploaded just for you guys. Um, you know, I'm just trying to keep a catalog of those things that I've uploaded. I'm just a regular Joe out there, you know, working a nine to five. And, uh, you know, I've been fortunate enough to um, uh, participate and to, um, I guess provide you guys this content uh, up on YouTube uh, so that I can share with you guys. Uh, you know, so so thank you very much for tuning in. Um, appreciate all you guys' support. I don't have that many subscribers, but you know, I'll keep it going just because you know this is a little hobby of mine. Uh, I've got so much to do, you know, with work, my family, um, things around my house, and uh, you know, just to unwind a little bit, I like to upload MTG. Uh, type unboxing videos and uh, discover you know the contents inside so if you like my content like I said go ahead and subscribe you know it doesn't hurt to to do so and um, stick around man uh, you know who knows I might be doing a uh, giveaway here in the new near future so other than that stay safe peace out thanks for watching thanks for tuning in